Communication amongst the sort of art, architecture, lighting, design community in London as the guy that can just get stuff, get stuff working. Um, so these are just a few pictures of um, some sort of the various installations, like some mutant pandas and UFOs and other crazy things. And what I'm talking about is really that when you're dealing with art, it's a bit different. Literally, this is how it all started. I found these camera modules on eBay. You can buy a tray of seven. They're a bit more expensive now. I think they're about 100 bucks for a tray of 70 um, when I first found them. And I think maybe they sourcing demand and they're, they've gone up a little bit. But they're dirty. That's the right signal. So we can just throw a torrent of vapor out of here and it will generate the right signal every 16 clocks. So we can just blast data into the um, LCD. We can use DMA to do that as well. So we can get very high bandwidth from the pick to the LCD. The times we'd use this is if, for example, we wanted to say flash a, a fixed colour block on the LCD, or we want to display an image from the onboard SPI flash to the LCD. And what we can do there is we can have a foreground time. Yeah. So we've got the LCD connector. Unfortunately, the LCD sort of connector the flex comes through this slot and plugs in here. And obviously, because the flex on the LCD is a very fixed size, the position of this connector is pretty much fixed. There's not much we can do about it and we were very, very close to where the camera had to go. And in fact, ideally, this connector should have been a bit further down so you keep this camera flex straight. We had to move it up a little bit so there's actually a little kink in that um, flex, which is why we actually had to use a bracket to clamp the camera down just to stop the flex pushing off the board, which is a bit of annoying, but, you know, it's, the, 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 this is happening. So we've got the, the peak CPLD, flash memory, two power supplies. I don't know, don't cross your fingers, but... Um, you really can't skimp on connectors. So, for example, you know, mod, you know, for um, firstly avoid as many connectors as you can, or put the connectors in the dry places. Use mongoose connectors, um, but there are some quite yes, there's some um, you know, user wireable waterproof connectors that allow an absolute pain to wire up. You've got to get screw them together exactly right. You've got to use exactly the right um, uh, ceiling grommet for the table down. Wires. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. PCB and FFT. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks again to Mike and Derek. Uh, once again, just wanted to mention we are supply frame here. If you don't know, uh, we we do a lot of software stuff. We love to talk.